for the longest time, my wife has always wanted a fire pit. So last year for Christmas, I bought her the Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0 Fire Pit. And if you're wondering if you should buy one for you and your family, make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to share my experience after one year of use with this fire pit. And if you wanna check out this unit, the link is down in the description box below. As this is the first fire pit that my wife and I have ever owned, at the beginning, we weren't too familiar with how to start the fire or even how to manage it to keep it burning. But I can say with the solo stove, it's been relatively easy and both her and I feel confident starting a fire, keeping it going, and we've got it down to a very simple process that I'd love to show you. For our fire starters, we use the Duraflame Quick Start Fire Lighters. We also use this brand of firewood as it burns really nicely and doesn't smoke hardly at all. You're also gonna need a lighter, preferably one with a long neck. You wanna break off one of the fire starters and place it in the fire pit. Then what I like to do is place two pieces of firewood underneath and then start crowding around the fire starter with other pieces of wood. The next step is to light the fire starter on one end. You might need to hold it on there for a few seconds just so it starts to burn consistently. And once you have the fire starter burning, you can place another piece of wood right on top so that that flame starts to catch the firewood on fire. And then from here, you'll just need to wait patiently and the fire will start to build up over time. And after a few minutes, you will have a full-fledged fire. It's that simple, it's that easy. For the year that we've had the fire pit, we've only had fires back here on our back patio. But if we did want to take it on the road with us to a friend's house, or if we decided to go camping or something like that, it would be very convenient to do so. At least for us with our first fire pit, we don't really have too much to compare to, but just the experience that we've had with the Bonfire 2.0, has been really satisfying. We probably have had a fire at least a couple dozen times over the course of the year, mainly during those nights where it's a little chilly and we just wanna be able to be outside and have a nice time, sit around with the neighbors, just enjoy being outdoors. And it's so easy to get the fire started as you saw earlier. And because of its portability, we can take it anywhere that we want to go. I can tell just by the construction of it that it's durable. It's gonna last a really long time. So if you're someone who's in the market for their first fire pit, or maybe you have a smaller one, you wanna upgrade to this one, which is technically like the medium sized one, I highly recommend this product. We're completely satisfied with how it's performed and the maintenance on it isn't too bad. You do have to clean it out every once in a while. But like I said, getting the fire started is really easy. Myself, if I wanna come out here and enjoy the fire, I can. My wife can do the same thing. And if I had kids that were around like the teenage age, I would have no worry or concern about them being able to operate the fire pit by themselves as well. There are other accessories that you can purchase with the Bonfire 2.0 or any of the other fire pits that they have. We simply just have the base model. It does come with the stand, just so it lifts it up off of the ground. If you plan to put it on a deck, it just prevents some of that heat from affecting the wood underneath. But other than that, we don't have any other accessories. And we find it to be very useful, very practical. And of course, we enjoy the fire and it gets really, really hot. I hope this video was insightful and I hope that it helped you decide whether or not you want to purchase the Bonfire 2.0. If you want to see more videos like this where I break down how to do different DIY projects at home, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.